Hey, what's up guys? Mike Osiris here, and today I thought I would do a little test for y'all. And um, by for y'all, I mean for the people who are uninitiated, for the people who aren't complete weeaboos. Um, take a look at the three anime girls I'm going to put on the screen right now. Tell me, which one of these girls is over 18? It's one of these three. You got 10 seconds. I'll wait. The answer is, it was a fucking trick question. Not a single one of them has a canonical age over of 18. Gotcha, bitch! FBI, open up! <laughs> but guess what? I'm about to blow your mind here. I'm about to drop a major truth bomb here, okay? Now, when I say this... I want you to pay attention because this is very important because some people just don't seem to get it. Some people just, you know, they just feel the need to bother others over this and they just don't seem to get the following. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on, hold on. I'll whisper it. I'll whisper it right into the microphone. Anime characters aren't fucking real. They are not real. They are drawings. They are pixels on a screen. Okay? They are not real. Trust me, I am just as disappointed as you are. But guess what? Your waifu is never coming to laifu. Now, you may be wondering, Hey Mike, why are you talking about this? Well, let's see. So anyway, before I forget, this is Osiris Unwrapped. I'm Mike Osiris, and this is the show that's usually on my second channel, uh, but I felt the need to post it to my main instead, just this once, because, um, well, I'll get to that towards uh, later on in the video, but there's something important I wanted to talk about that I want as many people to see as possible. So, just this once, I'm going to post this episode of Osiris Unwrapped onto the main channel. But anyway, we've got some stupid, stupid people out there who equate beating off to, um, henti, you know, stroking and choking to, uh, you know, anime girls. They, they equate that to real life pedo shit. It's not. And it's very fucking stupid to try to make that argument. But yeah, I was uh, just scrolling across the internet one day and I came across this following image right here on the screen right now. Hatsune Miku is not for men. Miku is not for men. Isn't she like 16? She's 14. Miku is not for men. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Okay. I love how they can't get the age consistent, almost as if they have no fucking idea what they're talking about, and yet they still feel the need to bitch. And also, Miku is not for men. Hmm, Miku's 16? What, she has a canonical age of 16? Well, here's the thing. Miku is a software program called Vocaloid. There is no person that exists named Hatsune Miku who has that blue hair, who looks like an anime girl, and has them tiggle bitties. Okay? She doesn't exist. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I get it, okay? I hate maps as much as the next guy. I get it completely. This is a matter of you having to pick your own fucking battles here, okay? This is not helping the controlling of pedophiles, okay? This is not helping the spread of maps, okay? This is actually hurting that cause because it's making it so that people can't take you seriously because you're going after people who are just, uh, you know, stroking it to drawings, stroking it to anime. No one is going to take you seriously when you do that. You gotta pick your own battles here. This is why, this is why you are getting so much scrutiny because you are dumb. You are not picking the right battles here. Like, um, you really gotta look at what's really important here. The, the maps who still get away with sending that disgusting, disgusting content on Twitter and you choose to go after the people who are, uh, who like henti. 
It's very clear that these people were never read The Boy Who Cried Wolf as a child. You know, the story about the kid who was being a lying little shit over and over, and then when shit actually came down, when shit actually went down, no one believed him because he had a tendency to lie. So yeah, um, if you're gonna keep calling everybody a pedo when they are not one, that's kinda gonna tank your credibility a bit. You know, go back and look at that kid's story, you know, Boy Who Cried Wolf. I think it'll do you guys some good. Now, if it was just that, this wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't be talking about this. Sure, it would still annoy the shit out of me, but that's, but this wouldn't be a video. But it's gotten to the point where there was one particular user who was harassing multiple henti artists for months now, for months. And I wanted to bring that up and bring this to light today because what this person has been doing is absolutely disgusting. So I have gotten in touch with a certain henti artist on Twitter from the Jet Set Radio fandom community. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Now, before we get into this, I wanna say two things. One, I cannot stress this enough. I know I put this in the disclaimer in the beginning, but I'll say it again. Do not harass anybody mentioned in this video, okay? You would be no better than the person I will be talking about if you do. Do not harass or bully anybody mentioned. Leave them alone. Second of all, the people, the following people I'm going to show have consented to me showing everything here, okay? This person right here, that whose thread I'm looking at, has consented to me showing this and the person that we'll be talking about, don't even bother trying to find them. Even if you want to ignore my warning, which you shouldn't, don't harass anyone. Spoiler alert, their Tumblr was deleted for breaking the terms of service. Um, so there is some good in the world. But yeah, <clears throat> do not harass anybody I will be talking about today. So anyway, um, let's just get right into it. I will be creating a thread regarding an individual that is stalking, harassing, and spreading hatred towards multiple artists within the Jet Set Radio community. This is the first I've seen something like this in this fandom, and it needs to be addressed and dealt with. Going through the Jet Set Radio hashtag on Tumblr, I noticed this account, Amari, we'll just refer to them as Amari, their entire account is dedicated to stalking, harassing, and spreading hate towards an artist at Rudy Queen on Twitter. Rudy Queen is the artist in question that I was able to talk to. It is very clear that this account is trying to start a hate campaign in hopes of getting multiple people to harass and stalk this artist, even went as far as taking a screenshot of her new at so people know where to target her. Now, that is absolutely fucking disgusting. We can see it right here. Um, Amari, Here's what she said in the Tumblr post. Homegirl really thought she can get away by changing her Twitter username. You're still gross for looting minors. Oh no. Not the poor fictional character. I sure hope the drawing's okay. Oh no, how is it ever gonna cope? How- I really hope this drawing was unharmed. Like we've established before, this is the Jet Set Radio community. So, the people who were being looted never fucking existed, therefore, not a problem, okay? There are bigger things in the world to worry about than drawings, okay? Now, the argument for many people going after these artists is that, oh, these characters are canonically 17 years old. You can't draw them like that. It's like... Um, yeah, these characters, uh, these fictional characters who don't exist, who, uh, have adult-looking bodies. Now, I would understand their arguments if the character looked like a fucking toddler, was going around, Hi, I'm Timmy! I like the Power Rangers! I like fucking playing with toy trains! I would understand if the character was like that and being looted. I would be 100% on your side if that was the case. But it's not. These characters are fully formed, adult looking, and therefore, you know, I don't think the age really matters of the, you know, drawings. Nobody's actually being harmed here. If the characters looked like fucking fetuses, 
I would be 100% on your side, but they don't. So there, you have no leg to stand on here. Your argument is dumb. Take it easy, it's just a drawing. To quote SpongeBob SquarePants. Or was it Patrick, whatever the fuck. Does the harassment stop there? Nope. Amari created a Newgrounds account, not only to further harass Ren, Rudy Queen, but another artist who makes JSR NSFW art, I'll leave their name out because Rudy Queen asked me to leave anybody, anybody else's name out if they didn't consent to this. Yep, this guy is targeting NSFW artists in the JSR community. Amari's Tumblr account violates Tumblr's community guidelines under hate speech and harassment. This shit is not okay. I've seen antis attack and harass artists in other fandoms and this often leads to something far worse. The Jet Set Radio community is not known for this type of behavior, and this person is bringing that anti-nonsense into it. This is the first this is happening in this community, and it will be the last. You need to take that bullshit elsewhere because we're not having it. You don't have to like NSFW art, just block and move on with your life, but stalking, harassing, and creating a blog to target an artist you don't like is not okay. And if you justify this fucking behavior as well, block me, you're part of the problem. And to that, I 100% agree. This is not okay, okay? Look, you, you can be against NSFW art, you can be against looting, you can be against henti all you want, but the second you start stalking and harassing people, that's when you've taken it way too far, and that's when you needed to fucking stop. I've been told by multiple sources that there are now artists in the community locking their accounts to avoid being the next target. Once again, this shit is not okay and it must be stopped. And then she tweets at a, at a big Jet Set Radio account, um, pretending to be one of the characters, DJ Professor K. But uh, that account has a, has a pretty big following. So uh, this person says, hey, mind retweeting this thread and spreading the word? This behavior is not okay. And then we have an update that says all is right in the world. Update, their account is gone. Let's fucking go. Don't mess with the Rudies. The account was deleted, most likely because of breaking community guidelines. And now that we've got the context for this, let's go into my conversation with Rudy Queen, because we did have a conversation in the messages. So anyway, uh, I approached Rudy Queen uh, in order to get a statement from her, and then it just turned uh, into uh, this line of questioning. So here's how it went. I'd like to talk about the situation going on with your harasser in a video, if that's all right with you. If so, I'd like to hear your side of this story. To which she responds, Hi, sure thing. I just have to grab all my screenshots and what's been going on. I'm going to be a little busy today, but I'll be sure to get back in touch with you. It's all good, take your time. It was no rush. I knew I wasn't going to be making the video immediately after I talked with her. But, yeah. So she says thank you. A little bit later, she says, also, the other, other harassed on Newgrounds, I follow them, the other people harassed on Newgrounds, I follow them, I'll ask if they're willing to share with what they went through as well. Yeah, that would be great, the more info I have on this whole thing, the better. And then, we see the screenshots. Um, this one is of Amari's Tumblr, and it's showing just months worth, going back to July of uh, making a bunch of things, harassing Rudy Queen and other JSR henti um, artists. And, um, okay, here's the post that was shown in the thread earlier about how, uh, oh yeah, changing your username, that ain't gonna stop the fact that you've been uh, looting miners. And then we got a little uh, dank Shrek meme here, because, you know, that hasn't been stale at all. Could you not sexualize underage characters for five minutes? And apparently that was posted twice, I guess. Um, she was trying to milk those notes as much as possible. Milk that internet attention. You know, uh, so we got a bit of a class act here, but it's been going on for months, apparently. And this is just the stuff that was about Rudy Queen. I have time to send screenshots, but I checked their archive. This started on July 12th, 2021. Uh, a little bit of a typo there, but yeah. But yeah, this is where I got her express permission to uh, to show these messages. So anyway, 
Um, she said there was no need to censor her username since it was already out there. And yeah, even though this account started posting over the summer, I was notified on my Discord server on October 18th of this year. So this person has been ranting and raving about you for a few months now. If you don't mind sharing, who tipped you off to this? To which she says, I don't want to give their at since, one, they're an artist in the community as well, and two, I didn't ask them if they would like to share their story and what's going on. To which I said, yeah, that's understandable. Anyway, she changed her at on September 20th and announced her server on Discord. Made a tweet about it, and uh, but for some reason Twitter had deleted all that shit. If you look at the archive, Amari took a screen of my new at and made a post in September. He's been stalking my page. My tweets are still up. I was trying to delete a week worth of tweets to avoid being shadow banned, but the app deleted a lot of my tweets for whatever reason. Okay, gotcha. So as far as you know, did Amari send this around at all, or was it just the Tumblr posts? Just Tumblr and Newgrounds if you check out the person who made the thread's tweets. So this person's main objective is to label you a pedo for drawing JSR characters, if I'm hearing all this correctly. Yeah. Also, I announced my merch on October 30th, and Amari made a post about it as well. C. So yeah, accusations of pedophilia, stalking, and targeted harassment. Now, let me just throw my two cents in here right now. Drawing characters in lewd situations, like how Rudy Queen does, is not fucking pedo shit. Go after the people who are actually harming children. These drawings do not hurt anybody. Hell, they're not even drawings of real people. Guess what? I know the law. She is well within it to do this, and there is nothing wrong with what she is doing. It is henty. It is drawn anime video game lewd situations 18 plus material. There is nothing wrong with what Rudy Queen is doing. Is there anything else you feel would be worth mentioning in the video? Let me see if I can talk to another artist. They were in the screenshot. Uh, the other person took as well. I'm in their server. I'll ask if they experience any more harassment from Amari. Sounds good. So she gets back to me a little bit later. I'll check Newgrounds again to see if they're harassing other artists too. Anything helps in this situation? I went through their Newgrounds. It looks like the review they made of my art got taken down. RGB still has the screenshot of that review, though. So, that's pretty much uh, all the information I got. That's, uh, I got all the evidence I needed to, uh, to show that, yes, Amari has been stalking at least Rudy Queen. So, I responded with, I see, I'm going to work on compiling all this information together. Hope to start recording next week. Tell her I'm going to make the video. No problem. I'll ask any other artists in the community if they experienced anything from Amari one last time. So, after that, I told her, try not to let that person get to you either. Nine times out of ten, they don't give the slightest bit of a fuck about what they're saying. They just want clout. People like that just want to feel special and have their 15 minutes of fame or infamy, and don't care who they, get, who they step on to get to it. And that, I stand by 100%. This person who's been stalking Rudy Queen is a pathetic fucking specimen. This person is a goddamn scumbag for what they are doing. And I doubt you are watching this, Amari, but if you are, fucking stop, okay? Just stop. You are not the hero of this story. You are most definitely the villain. You are a scumbag, and you need to leave these people alone. There is nothing wrong with what they are doing. They are not drawing real people. You have no reason to fuel this outrage train, other than for your own pathetic sense of self-fulfillment, for your pathetic sense of self-righteousness. You need to fucking stop. Please, just do that for the love of decency. Just stop doing what you're doing. Leave these people alone. Now, I feel like this is the most serious I am going to get in a video. Like, I've been serious a couple times, but not like this. But I want you to understand the following. Everyone who's watching this, everyone who's trying to say that these henty artists are pedos. <clears throat> this may come as a shock to you, but guess what? Anime characters are not real. Video game characters are not real. 
these people being drawn in henti are not real. They are not. Nobody is being harmed by these drawings. They are not based on any real life people. They are based on video game characters, lines of code, graphics, textures, not flesh and blood. Leave these people alone. If you want to do some pedo hunting so much, go after the ones who are actually harming real life children. Go after the people who are being a genuine parasite on the back of the internet. Go after the people who are doing genuine harm. Leave these artists alone. These characters are not real. End of story. There is nothing you can say that can refute that. They are not real. Now repeat that in your head until it sinks in and you leave these poor people alone. And as for Amari, I'm talking to you directly again. Please, stop. If you want attention, this is a piss poor way of getting it. You need to stop harassing innocent people. You are the villain here, not them. Leave them alone. So anyway, um, that that's all I have to say, really. You need to stop. And this is going to be spread. I know that this video is going to be spread around the JSR community, and they are going to be aware of the shit you are pulling, Amari. Okay? You reap what you sow. I'm Mike Osiris, and I'm going back under. Please stop doing what you're doing.